Hey friends, welcome back again. Today in this session, we will solve this algebraic expression and here it is square root 3 and having power by 20 minus square root x and whole the term is again under square root and that's equal to 9. Then we will find the value of x. So please give a thumbs up to the video and subscribe the channel. Now let's solve the equation. Now here one condition is there. Now x is under square root. So x is under square root and from here the value of x should be greater than equal to 0 right anything under square root for the real value it should be greater than or equal to 0 now moving to the next here the base is square root 3 and in the right hand side we have 9 now we can manipulate 9 as 3 square right 9 we can write 3 square now in the left hand side we have square root 3 so it is square root 3 and we can write a square root 3 as 3 power by 1 by 2 right so in the left hand side we will write square root 3 as 3 power by 1 by 2. So now look at here. So we will write 3 power by 1 by 2 and whole is powered by square root. Here it is 20 minus square root x. 20 minus square root x. And in the right hand side and 9 we will replace with 3 square. So it is 3 square. Now according to law of indices if we have a powered by m and whole is powered by n. That is equal to a power by mn. Here we multiply the powers. Similarly, we have power in brackets, so we will multiply these powers. Now, in the left hand side, we can write 3 power by 1 by 2, and we will multiply this by square root 20 minus square root x, and that is equal to 3 square. Now, in the equation of left hand side and right hand side, we have same base. Now, this expression it is in the form of a power by m that is equal to a power by n here we have made the base same 3 and 3 and powers is different so we can equate the power so we can write m is equal to n so according to law of indices we can write the power equal so now we can write this expression as power is equal means 1 by 2 multiplied by square root 20 minus square root x and that is equal to in the right hand side power is 2 so it is equal to 2 now for removing this denominator 2, we will multiply the expression both sides by 2. So in the left hand side we have multiplied by 2, so right hand side multiplied by 2. So here 2 and 2 will be cancelled, numerator and denominator. Now in the left hand side we have left with this expression, it is square root 20 minus square root x. And that is equal to in the right hand side 2 multiplied 2 is 4. Now for solving this expression, we have the square root. Now we will cancel the square root, for that we will have to square, so in the left hand side we have squared, so right hand side will be squared, so here square root and square value will be cancelled. So in the left hand side now we are left with 20 minus square root x, 20 minus square root x and that is equal to right hand side 4 square 16, right? Now for solving this expression, we will add square root x in the left hand side, so we will add square root x in the right hand side also. Now from here we will eliminate 16, so we will subtract 16, so we will subtract 16 in the left hand side, right? Now we will add this expression, so this expression will be, here we can cancel negative square root x and positive square root x, 16 and negative 16 is cancelled, so in the left hand side it is 20 minus 16 is 4, that is equal to in the right hand side we are left with square root x, now we will change this side. So square root x that is equal to 4. Now for removing this square root, we'll square both the side. So here square root and square value will be cancelled. So now in the left hand side we have x and that is equal to 4 square is 16. So now from here we have calculated value of x that is equal to 16 and this is our final answer of this expression.